my name is patrick uh, this video is to tell you about some shortcut method that could have been used on the day one of the exam the idea of using the shortcut methods is or learning about that is normally you can repeat those methods if you know the method you can repeat those method in different subs we already learned two concepts or two shortcut methods in part one of the video this is part two of the video the idea is save time one hour paper so you have to be really fast these are the actual questions that came up in the examination. So we'll look at the questions and go about it. So this is a question based on a 10 December examination. The concept can be used for the other exam as well. Okay, remember the concepts could repeat. The first question, I mean, from each vertex of an equilateral triangle. So you have an equilateral triangle, corners are cut to form a regular hexagon. That means of cutting the corner to form a regular hexagon. Normally, if it's a geometry and a question of area, one way to solve it is, if possible, try to break up into equal parts. So if I draw it like this, I mean, uh, break up this hexagon into equilateral triangles. So if you look at a whole triangle, is formed of nine equilateral triangles, nine smaller equilateral triangles, from which hexagon forms six equilateral triangles. Which means 9 equilateral triangles stands for area of 240. So 6 equilateral triangles will be how much? So 6 upon 9 into 240. Basically, if you look at it, you will get the answer is 160. 2 thirds is so it's just drawing. You don't have to even you know find the area, find the side, etc. Not required. If you just understand this whole figure and break it up into equal parts, you will realize that six parts are inside, three parts are outside. So 6 out of 9 parts are basically area of hexagon. A lot of similar sums are there which have come in the exam previously regarding area where you can easily break up the whole area into equal parts and get the answer. So be comfortable with this concept. I mean, knowing tricks turns helps you to solve things faster. There are other ways of doing it. I mean, one more way is when the ratio of the sides are A is to B, the ratio of the area will be A square to B square. You can use that concept as well. But this is the faster method. Next, this is based on arithmetic progression. So the cost is 20, you need a profit of 40%. So 20 plus 40% of 20 will give you 28 rupees. That means my average selling price has to be 28 rupees up here. So remember in arithmetic progression, average is a middle term. So if you have 2, 4, 6, etc., the middle term is 28. And also the average is nothing but first term plus last term divided by 2. First term is 2, last term divided by 2. So we solve it 28 into 2 is equal to 2 plus last term. So last term will become 54. So if you look at this is goes up to 54. All multiples of 2 out to 54. Last term is 2 into 27. It means you can make out there will be 27 terms to you can also directly calculate from here. Moment you know 28 is a middle term, before 28 you have 2 to 26, 13 terms. After 28 it will be 13 terms. So 13 terms before, 13 terms after plus the 28, so you will have total 27 terms. So in arithmetic progression, remember the middle term is the average and the average can be first term plus last term divided by 2. Most of the sums on AP can be used, solved by using these simple concepts instead of using the formula which normally takes time, right? I hope this will help understand this concept. It's important to understand the shortcut method to help you solve things faster, right? All the best for the exam. Thank you.